Hello and welcome. This is Just Nigeria. Coming up, cost of Christmas. Shoppers in Nigeria decry high prices of consumables. Plus, click credits. Experts frown at digital money lenders' name and shame loan recovery strategy. And dismantling stereotypes. 27-year-old Nigerian takes on a daring adventure in the United Arab Emirates. Also, my name is Nike Majakudumi. Check me out. The business coach guiding young entrepreneurs and helping them start up their businesses. Merry Christmas and it's great to have you join us here on the program brought to you by the BBC and Channels Television. I am Wali Fakile. Let's start with our top story today. Now, Christmas, they say, is a time to give and show love. But have you visited the markets or stores lately? Well, just in Nigeria's Aneta Felix visited three markets in Lagos, some of them arguably the biggest in West Africa, to ask shoppers about their preparations for the festivities. Here is what she found. Stressful, exhausting, and expensive. That's how some Christmas shoppers describe their experience at Oyibo Market in Lagos. They left home before daylight to stock up on necessities for the Christmas season. But it's midday and they've only managed to buy a handful of items. Last year I came with 20,000 and I bought much. But this year I came with 30, but last year 20 was much. What I bought last year was much than this year. Just for 200 now before, but now I bought it 2,000. I used to buy um, a paint for 2,008. Today a paint is 3,500. So things are very, very expensive. But let's say this is 3,000 era before. You can actually say no now. Let me pay seven or maybe one five, 2,000 they will be, but now, if they tell you the commodity goes for 2005, if you are not buying for 2005, or here is your case, nobody is calling anybody back. That's how bad it has become now. Traders empathize with them, but admit they have little influence over the cost of goods. Bag of stuff is before. It's 30,000, 32,000. Now it's 100,000. Flesh before. 70, 80,000, now it's two, uh, 250,000. Capital that you raise to buy it, before you know the capital will run down. Things are too high, too expensive. People cannot afford it. Could the laws of demand and supply be the greatest force at play? Prices have really skyrocketed generally in this year. But at this point, the real reason why it is really spiking right now is that added pressure of Christmas and Christmas shopping. But then as a whole, as an economy, um, prices have really risen, even gas prices, everything. And there's still that threat of increasing fuel prices or taking out subsidy in the new year. Um, it's tough because it's, it's like a chicken and egg situation. There are so many things that need to be fixed at the same time. So it boils back to the government making the environment easy for people to actually thrive. This is Balogu Market one of the largest markets in Lagos. Many shoppers come here for clothes, shoes, and fashion accessories, especially during festive seasons when it's usually a beehive of activities. Tina Oge deals in wholesale clothes for women and children. She says market trends this year are different from any she's ever seen. Last year, we experienced COVID, but despite all, customer turn up than this year. This year is the worst year ever since I was born. 
People, people really want to buy, but there is no money, one. The, the stuff is high, two. The whole problem is no money. Our country is in a shamble. This inherently means shoppers here also feel the heat. The things I came to buy for my children, I could not. I planned to buy uh, to get them many things, but I couldn't. The price is so exorbitant. I came to buy clothes for my younger ones. And what I got these clothes for are the prices I could have gotten um, the adult so sizes. Madam. Do you understand me? So you can see it's crazy. I feel like Christmas is really expensive this period. Things in the markets that we get for lesser price are not like times two of the prices. And um, I don't think it's a better Christmas for anybody. At Akpombo Market, the bargaining continues. It's an uneasy dance between traders and shoppers over the rising prices of goods like Christmas hampers and wine. Nigeria wine, we are selling 500 before, now we are selling 800. We don't see customer. I just feel the government is not working enough. Like the inflation, inflation is so bad. The National Bureau of Statistics says the annual food inflation increased for the 24th consecutive month to 20.75% in October from 20.71% in September. That's due to an increase in the price of basic food items. Now, on the other hand, the price of goods and services increased by 15.40% year on year in November 2021. Now, could the government have the solution? The government really can't do much to fix it right now. It's a long-term journey. Um, but the things that we need to improve on is stabilizing the currency because it has huge impact, um, improving the ease of doing business, um, also improving things like security because it also does affect the prices of goods in the market. And then generally being able to draw value from the taxes that we are paying. Um, once we're able to do that, then things will generally come down. And one last thing, power. Power does make a huge difference. If we can improve on power, prices will come down. Meanwhile, what do shoppers need to do to maximize their spending power? Do all your shopping in October, November for the Christmas period. So it's cheaper and then you don't get caught in this rush. That's the first recommendation. The next one is that for the things you will need in January, put the money away or, or pay for it. For example, this school fees is coming up in January. From a November salary, pay for it. If you have any obligations that you know ahead of time, put the money away before you start your December spending so that you go into January stable and safe. A year ago, a bag of rice, five liters of oil, and a live chicken cost approximately 30,000 Naira. This year, you would need an extra 10,000 Naira to buy those same items. This is a reality shoppers are contending with, and many say they are forced to forgo certain ones or find cheaper alternatives. Mm, the cost of Christmas, indeed.